Hey everybody, welcome back to The Witcher 3. I apologize for the audio quality of the last episode. Um, I had the volume turned down and the TV volume was up, so there was a little bit of an echo. Should be fixed now. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Tamara present for all this? She see you quarrel? Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. I thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. Then I went to the bedchamber, but Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. I know that I hope you find your Siri. The deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. 
They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Let us stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. All right, we're gonna make ourselves a lubberkin. Sounds fan fucking tasty. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sounds great. A few hours later. A bit further. Follow me. Can you give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. Look! Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Oh, bloody hell. What happens when it gets very restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Back to the fortress. What's out of control? With this? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubberkin. Oh, fuck. And it'd just be easy to take it up on the hill and bury it, but of course it won't be that easy. Nope. Fight some stuff.
do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house. Help me find your family. the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. The guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubricant. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Alright guys, we got 150 experience points for that. We're so close to leveling up, it's unreal. So very close. Um, so next time we're gonna meditate. I'm gonna save the game. No, quest. we're gonna we're gonna wait real game time. <laughs> Twenty-five minutes or something like that. Yeah, however long it takes to go through a twenty-four hour period cycle. Uh, no, we're gonna meditate and then uh, next time we're gonna follow this Lubberkin and it should take us to at least an idea of where um, where Urko is. Where one of these two, ch where either the child or the mother is. So, we will see you guys next time.